Well, hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm your host, Velma Nolts, and I am so glad that you are here with me today. So grab your favorite beverage, get comfy, and come along with me as we explore a story about how you can lead your life and work better. Today, I want to dive into a topic that resonates with many of us, encouragement. Now, you all know that to be a good leader, you have to inspire your team. But what happens when the encourager needs encouragement themselves? Well, let me share a story about Mary. Mary is a beloved director at an assisted living community in the vibrant town of Mayberry. Mary is a warm and compassionate leader. You know the kind that is meant to be in service. She's known for her infectious laughter and her unwavering support for both her residents and her staff. Now, every day, Mary works tirelessly to create a nurturing environment where she wants everyone to feel seen, to feel heard, and to feel valued. But even someone as inspiring as Mary has their moments of doubt. Has that ever happened to you? Have you had moments when you've doubted yourself as a leader? Well, let's hear what happened to Mary and how Mary's story can encourage you. As the community prepared for its annual family day, Mary gathered all of her team members in for a meeting. Okay, everyone, okay, let's make this the best family day ever, Mary announced with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. Even her eyes were sparkling with excitement. However, when she suggested a talent show featuring the residents, she sensed some hesitation. But, Mary, we're already stretched thin, one staff member said. Can we really pull this off, said another staff member. Mary felt a knot just tighten in her stomach. I know we can make it happen, she said. All the while, doubt began to creep in Mary's heart. That evening, Mary sat down alone in her office and she began questioning herself. She began questioning her ability to lead others. What if I'm not inspiring enough, she said. What if they don't believe in me as their leader? That whole night, Mary lost a lot of sleep. So the next day, Mary met with her best friend, Sarah. They were having lunch. And Sarah said, Mary, I noticed something's bothering you. What's up? And Mary said, well, I just don't know if I'm cut out for this whole leadership thing. I, I, you know, I just feel like I'm letting others down, Mary said. And Sarah leaned in and, and she said with a very compassionate voice, Mary, remember when you helped me, when you helped me prepare for that presentation that I didn't believe that I could do? You kept saying, Sarah, you got this. Sarah, you're a great speaker. Sarah, you have great ideas. Now, Mary, you need to have that same encouragement for yourself. Mary thought for a minute, and then she felt a sense of inspirement. She felt inspired and encouraged by Sarah's words. So Mary decided, you know what? I'm going to take action. That evening, she reflected on what was she so passionate about at her community. And it dawned on her. She's passionate about her residents. It became very clear to Mary that the community, the residents, and their families, they need her to be the encouraging leader. And your team needs that from you. So the next day, Mary reached out to her team members and she said, I want to hear your thoughts. Let's collaborate on this talent show. Together, we can make it a memorable event for everyone. Finally, Mary even practiced some self-talk. Have you ever talked to yourself? Now, I know you do, but, but what happens? We sometimes are our worst critic versus our biggest encourager. We need positive self-talk, and that's what Mary did. 
So every morning, as silly as it sounds, she stood in front of a mirror reminding herself, I am capable. I inspire others. Mary, you can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. And friends, you can too. When the next meeting arrived, Mary walked in with a renewed sense of energy. Let's do this, team. I believe in each one of you, she declared. And to her delight, her enthusiasm was contagious. The team rallied around her. They brainstormed ideas that turned the talent show into a spectacular success. At the end of the event, filled with laughter and applause, Mary looked around at her smiling team, and all she said was, we did it. So what can we learn from Mary's journey? Well, I believe that there are three simple steps that you could take right now to encourage yourself when you feel discouraged. One, reflect on your passions. Take a moment to remember what excites you about what you do. Write that down and look for the motivation in that. Because remember, in your passion, you will find your purpose. Number two, I want you to reach out to others. Leadership can sometimes feel very alone. So don't hesitate to connect with friends and colleagues. Share your feelings and ask for support. You just might be surprised by how much encouragement you receive. And number three, I want you to practice self-talk. I want you to stand in front of the mirror. Yes, as silly as it sounds. And I want you to remind yourself of your strengths. If you're looking for more inspiration, I want to highly recommend Living Beyond Purpose by my mentor, Mike Rodriguez. It's a fantastic read that will help you cultivate an encouraging mindset. And oh, chapter three is a must read because it's my story. It's about how the twists and turns in my life actually prepared me for my purpose and how the twists and turns in your life will do the same. I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. If you found this helpful, I want to encourage you to share it with your friends. And when you want more resources on how you can lead better, head over to my website, leaderspathway.com. Until next time, keep leading with value. You got this. God bless. 